Europa is one of the moons of Jupiter. All evidence suggests that it has liquid water. In fact, more than twice as much as we have on Earth. And so the Europa Clipper mission is going to send a spacecraft uh, with a state-of-the-art suite of instruments to go and investigate Europa uh, and its habitability. Europa is covered by an ice shell and that appears to be mostly water with some salts. And one of the things we know about it is that it is uh, not very cratered and this is unusual in our solar system. What we do see are cracks in the ice and ridges and other sort of chaotic modeled regions that all suggests that there is turnover between the ocean and the surface. We also know that uh, Europa has a, likely a rocky interior, which means that we also have some interesting possibilities for chemistry at the boundary layer between the ocean and the rocky interior. So Clipper is going to go and tell us more about the thickness of the ice shell. It's going to tell us about the thickness of the ocean and its salinity, and essentially the the rest of the mission will be focused on the composition and the geology and understanding also the fine scale, local scale surface and topography that will form the basis for reconnaissance. This mission addresses one of the most profound science questions of our time and one of NASA's key objectives, which is the question, are we alone in the universe? Europa has the potential for having all of the necessary uh, ingredients for life. The moon has likely been stable for about four billion years, which would give time for, for life to evolve. And so um, we're going to be going there with Europa Clipper to um, start to investigate that.